So one of the favorite projects I worked on was um, in Dallas, there was the I-35 expansion job. So they were taking the big interstate and expanding it. And my job was um, to be the water resources engineer on the job to redo the hydrology and hydraulics. So there are culverts all up and down I-35, the stretch that we were doing. And I needed to do the background hydrology to model the existing culverts. And then now that things had changed, do the proposed hydrology and see if what was there right then for the sizing was going to be accurate for the new flows going in. Um, and at the time I had really only been working for about nine months. So fairly new engineer, finishing up my master's and working, um, but was given the role of starting and being the main um, design engineer on this. So I was leading a lot of the design meetings. Um, uh, we had a lot of the upper supervisors from transportation um, and different parts of the project were looking at me to say, okay, where were we on the design part? Um, so that was really fun and very, very interesting experience to just be like, okay, you've been working, now we're going to throw you on this project and kind of not sink or swim, but like test out what you know you can do. So that was really cool. What was your typical day like? Um, my typical day was doing a lot of background research on um, picking up the as-built, so figuring out what sizes the culverts were actually there and comparing that to the survey results that we had, um, doing background hydrology work, figuring out the soil type, the vegetation. Um, we actually got to do a site visit because um, Google Earth can only take you so far, especially with culverts. You have to fi figure out um, if there's any sediment built up in that because that affects the hydraulics of the structures. So. Um, one, we did get to do the site visit, um, but really just getting all the background information and putting them into the models. And then once the models were done, doing the drafting of, in, and we actually used MicroStation, um, so drawing them out in MicroStation and making sure they were all plotted correctly. And what did you like about this project? What I liked was it used all different types of engineering. I mean, I used about six different programs during the whole thing. Um, I was able to pull from all different types, going from the hydrology to the hydraulics to the design, working with a bunch of different PMs, um, and just getting to see what a, a full-scale project was going to be. And I didn't get to see it towards uh, till the end of the project, but I did the a bulk of the um, initial engineering on it, design engineering, so that was really fun. And is there anyone that you would like to thank related to the project? Yeah, I'd like to thank my upper supervisor, Rob Armstrong. He was such a great mentor to me, um, taught me all about water resources engineering because that was my first job right out of college. Um, didn't really know what water resources was, but um, learned a ton from him. And then Zach Steinkuller was my PM on the project, so he really mentored me and showed me the ropes and answered all the questions that I had. So those guys were great.